physical experiences and religious observances do not equal spiritual faithfulness or vitality. Welcome to LifeWords Day by Day, where we are investigating and studying 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Once again, as Paul did in chapter 9, verse 24, Paul appeals to the trumped up view of knowledge among the Corinthians, and he says to them, I want you to know. I have some information that maybe you haven't thought about. Paul then appeals to our fathers who were led out of Egypt by Moses. And notice as he begins talking about this, the emphasis on all, all under the cloud, all passed through the sea, all were baptized into Moses, all ate the same spiritual food, all drank the same spiritual drink. So Paul is referencing the deliverance of the Israelites from Egyptian bondage. They were separated from the Egyptians and they were protected from the Egyptians by a cloud by day, the presence and nearness of God in their midst. They all experienced this. They all passed through the Red Sea being delivered by God from the Egyptians who, by the way, were killed in the Red Sea when the Pharaoh decided to pursue them. So all of Israel had the experience of being protected by God and the presence of God. When it says that they were baptized into Moses, I think Paul is referring to the fact that they were under Moses' leadership. They were fed the miracle food of manna every morning, and they all drank from a rock that gushed forth water at God's command. The source for the food and drink was obviously God, and that is why they are called spiritual. And all the Israelites experienced all of this. They saw this. They tasted this food. They drank this water. They participated in these observances. And Paul is clearly making a comparison of their lives with the life of the Corinthian believers and even the modern-day Christian. We have been separated, marked off, chosen by the Spirit of God. We have been delivered from the bondage of sin and death. We have been immersed into the kingdom and leadership of Jesus Christ, represented by water baptism. And we have the ongoing observance of communion, eating unleavened bread and drinking the cup of juice. And Paul makes an interesting side note in verse 4. There was a legend about that rock that Moses struck way back in Exodus 17. And the legend was that a rock followed the people of Israel around in the wilderness, providing them water all the time. Well, Paul says that they were absolutely followed by a rock, but it wasn't a rock with a little r, but a rock with a capital R, Jesus Christ. He was with you every step of the way. But then Paul says this, Nevertheless, with most of them, God was not pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. So, so watch this. All of them had those incredible earth-shaking experiences. All of them ate the manna that just appeared every morning. All of them tasted that water that somehow flowed from a rock. But their physical experiences and their religious observances did not please God. It may have pleased them but it didn't please God. So may we take note of that as well. Take heed lest we think religious observances equal spiritual faithfulness and vitality. As you pray today, please remember Boris Lebedev and his family, our missionaries in Georgia. And also remember the Hindi Life Word broadcast that's heard throughout Kenya.